If you struggle with frizz and humidity, then you probably know that most products don't really help that much when it comes to frizz and humidity. But I have narrowed it down to about 18 of my top products that actually do make a difference in taming frizz and keeping your curls intact in humidity. We are going to be covering leave-in conditioners, curl creams, gels, mousse, and hairspray from both the drugstore and high-end in this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina, and here we talk all things naturally curly. I love talking about the science of hair, product ingredients, which we're definitely going to cover today when it comes to humidity and really helping you problem solve with your curls. So let's get started because we have a lot to cover, but I am going to go through these fairly quickly and there will be timestamps down below if you're interested in just a particular category. I'm not going to be covering shampoos and conditioners today because I don't find that they make that much of a difference when it comes to your end result in humidity. It's really about the products that you leave on your hair which is why we are covering everything from leave-ins to hairsprays because those are the products that are really gonna impact your results, specifically the final products that you use on your hair. Starting out with the leave-in conditioner category, I have a drugstore option to share with you and that is the Function of Beauty Curly Hair Leave-In Conditioner. Function of Beauty, I feel like is kind of an underrated brand when it comes to curls, but I actually really do enjoy their products, especially for the price point, it's really good. And I like that they have the mix and drop so you really can customize these. I can't remember which one I put in this product but I think it was the curly one to help with curl enhancement. I need to label it next time I do that. But the reason I like this one when it comes to humidity is because it has ingredients such as shea butter, which is going to really help to lock in moisture and also prevent the moisture in the air from absorbing into your hair. Now, like I mentioned, it's really about your gels and your mousse and hairsprays that are really going to make a difference. But if you're really fighting humidity, you might wanna look for the humidity blocking ingredients in every step of your routine to really help. I also wanted to include this one because it's actually a lightweight option for the drugstore, which I find is pretty difficult to find. A lot of drugstore products are very heavy with a lot of coconut oil. And even though this does contain shea butter, which is inherently a heavier ingredient, I actually find it to be very lightweight. It also contains polyquats, which is one of my favorite ingredients when it comes to humidity. I did create an anti-humidity ingredients checklist that you can download below. I featured it in one of my recent videos. So if you do have that, you can follow along with that checklist because most of these products will have multiple of those ingredients, which is what we want in humidity. Another leave-in conditioner I actually have in a liter size. This is obviously a higher end option, but this is the We Dead Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner. This is really great when it comes to humidity because again, it has polyquinternium in it, which is really going to help, but it also contains silicones, which are going to help prevent the moisture in the air from absorbing into your hair. And they're really beneficial in leave-in conditioner because they can help with slip and detangling and just improving the manageability of your curls. Now, I really like this one paired with the Weed Dad gel that I'm going to share with you in just a moment, but you could totally use that gel by itself. But if you find you need a little bit more moisture, this is definitely one to add into your routine. It pairs really nicely with the Weed Dad gel. I think I've used it with my favorite AG gel as well but I'm gonna include some product pairs with all of these as well. So if you do wanna know like which gel I would pair with these or which cream, I will mention that and that will be all listed out on the blog post that goes with this video. It's also very lightweight, but highly moisturizing, which is what I usually look for in a leave-in conditioner. Switching to a drugstore option in the curl cream category, this is the Has Curl Care Curl Defining Cream. This is actually in my hair right now because I wanted to test out how this would work by itself because it does have holding ingredients, but unfortunately it didn't give me any hold, so I did have to add some of the Hask gel on top of this, but I don't really like the Hask gel that much. I did do a drugstore routine using both of those and it was a little bit drying on my hair, but I do really like this curl cream and it is packed with some of those humidity blocking ingredients. I would consider this to be about a medium weight curl cream. It's not the most lightweight option, but it's also not super thick like a thick butter cream. And it also contains starch ingredients, which is one of those ingredients that I've noticed in curl creams help to really clump and bounce up the curls. If you did wanna to stick to the Hask brand from the drugstore, you could try out the Hask gel that I featured in that video. That's actually what I added in on top to add a little bit more hold. It just feels a little bit crispy for my liking, but that is a good option from the drugstore. It's really difficult to find good gels from the drugstore that contain all the ingredients that I need for humidity. 
but that one comes kind of close. It's just not my all time favorite. Another good curl cream for humidity is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. I have featured this in so many of these types of videos because it really does have a lot of ingredients that will help kind of coat the hair. So this contains the humidity blocking polyquinternium. It also has shea butter as the third ingredient and it says shea butter esters. So hopefully that's a little bit smaller and not as thick as like regular shea butter. It also has polyacrylamide, which is a polymer. So that's going to help to create a film on the hair to help block out humidity. It does have a wax ingredient in here and some people were saying that they took it out but it looks like it's just another name for that same wax when I was doing research on it. And wax can build up over time and I do get a little bit of a build up feeling if I use this and particularly the Curl Talk stylers in back to back wash days without a good lathering clarifying shampoo. So if you do wanna use just the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line and you want that to be your main curly hair product, Products, do make sure you're using a strong enough shampoo because you can get a little bit of a buildup feeling over time with using this back to back. I also find this to be maybe like a medium weight curl cream. It's not super moisturizing. It actually doesn't have any humectants in it that I could spot. I mainly just see those film formers and I also see keratin amino acids. So that is a smaller protein. It's not going to give you protein overload or anything like that, but that is strengthening and also it can help kind of coat the hair and prevent the humidity from affecting your curls. So other than that, there's not a ton of moisturizing ingredients, but it will create that film on the hair, as I mentioned. And I do know some people that like to use this by itself without a gel on top if you do like a soft hold, but just keep in mind, you do need hold usually from a gel, a mousse, or a hairspray to really fight humidity. But for those of you that strictly wanna use a cream, definitely go with a cream that at least has some polymers in it. Another great curl cream for humidity is the Twist Weather Up Lotion. This is literally designed for humidity. This one's definitely a lot more moisturizing, slightly more lightweight, doesn't have as much of a waxy feeling as the Curl Talk Cream. Oh, I forgot to mention what gel I would pair with the Curl Talk Cream. We're actually gonna cover it in just a moment, but the Not Your Mother's Hard Hold Gel or the mousse that I'm gonna share is what I would pair with the curl cream. So going back to the Twist Weather Up Lotion, this is a pretty moisturizing lotion. I would consider it about a medium weight. It contains humidity blocking at polyquinternium. It also has some butters in it, like shea butter and mango butter. And it does have proteins, which can also benefit the hair and humidity. They help to kind of bind to those damaged areas and fill in the gaps in our hair's cuticle, which in turn can help prevent the humidity from absorbing too much into our hair. One of the other ingredients in here that's great in humidity is the silicone quaternium eight. So that one is a quaternium ingredient and silicone. So definitely something that's gonna help out your hair and humidity. I haven't gotten build up from this or anything. And again, with all these types of film forming ingredients, silicones, polyquats, just make sure you're using a good lathering shampoo and not co-washing with any of these. In terms of gel that I like to pair with the Twist Cream, I really like the Twist Weather Up Gel. That pairs nicely, which we will talk about that one in just a minute. And also the Weedad Advanced Climate Control. I actually used this curl cream underneath that gel in my recent video all about how to humidity proof your curls. This curl cream has multiple different humidity blocking polyquads and a little bit of hold to it. This is the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm. This is a smaller size of it, the actual size is a little bit bigger than this, but all of the Design Me products I noticed do contain a lot of polymers and film formers. So I really wanna try out more of their products. I've mainly only tried this curl cream. It's called a Curl Balm. So it contains a polyquinternium 55. It has cetyl alcohol, which is again, a very moisturizing ingredient. So it is still moisturizing has polyquinternium 11 in it, some other humectants. It has a copolymer in it, which is a holding ingredient. So lots of great holding ingredients in this. If you're someone that just wants to use a curl cream, this is a good option. Or if you do want to really amp up the hold in your gel, maybe look for a curl cream that also has hold in it. That way you can have hold in both of your products. So some gels that I like to pair with this are the Weed Out Advanced Climate Control and the AG Liquid Effects. Then I have two top curl creams and we're going to kind of compare them. These are both both from AG. So the first one is the AG Recoil Curl Activator Cream. This is one of my favorite curl creams of all time because it really makes a difference in the clumping and the curl retention and the curl bounce in your hair. So it's called Recoil. It really does help with that recoil. It's rare to find a product actually live up to its name, but this one does. But this product actually gives some hold to the hair. So I'm gonna have up a real this coming week on my Instagram, comparing this curl cream to the Fresh Definer, which is another one that gives a little bit of hold. And initially I thought that this one was going to give more hold because it just feels like it does when you're applying it. 
but I actually got a little bit more hold out of this one and it totally makes sense because it has multiple holding ingredients a little bit higher up in the list too. So it has starch, which is again, one of those ingredients that I've noticed really does help with the curl clumping and just the plumpness of the curl clumps, if that makes sense. And then it has polyquaternium 55. It has a bunch of moisturizing ingredients, glycerin, which is another great one to keep the gels moisturizing. You definitely want to look for that ingredient. If you do have very dry hair, I would not avoid a glycerin if your hair is dry, or if you do have higher porosity hair that does need that moisture. I'll talk more on glycerin in just a bit. And then it has cornstarch modified, which is another starch ingredient that's going to help with the curl definition. And then polyquaternium 10, so lots of polyquats in this. It also contains proteins. So it really checks all those boxes when it comes to a curl cream that's going to help in humidity. And then the Curl Fresh Definer. So these are very similar. So I did really want to compare this and specifically look more into the ingredients and see how it differs from this one. The main difference that I noticed with Fresh Definer is it's a little bit more lightweight. So if recoil is too heavy for you, if you're someone with very fine hair, maybe your hair gets weighed down, this one's definitely more lightweight. I find this also has less slip in it. It feels like it's giving your hair more hold when you apply it, but in the end, the cast level that I get after my hair is dried, I had a little bit more with this one, but this one definitely still works great too. And it also has less proteins in it. It's more of like the smaller amino acids and peptides in it. So if you don't need protein in your routine, if your hair is healthy, maybe you have low porosity or coarse hair, those hair types don't need much protein. It can kind of make it feel brittle. That's where I would go with this one, but I'm sure you could also get away with this one as well. It's just a little bit stronger when it comes to those proteins. So that's the gist of the comparison, but I am going to compare them side by side on an Instagram reel. So you have to check out my Instagram page to see that because you'll actually get to see how these look in my hair by themselves side by side in a comparison routine. So I have to check that out to see the whole level difference. So with both of these curl creams, I would recommend pairing the AG Liquid Effects Gel or the WeDad Advanced Climate Control. Both of those I've tried with these and I do really like my results. Finally into the gel category, which I feel like is the best product when it comes to humidity because it doesn't make your hair feel gross and it's going to actually fight frizz and help tame the frizz for longer lasting curls. First option is an affordable gel and I'm also gonna go in the order of of lightest hold to strongest hold. So this is a medium hold gel, which if you like medium hold, but you still need anti-humidity ingredients, this would be a good option. I personally like a little bit more hold because my hair gets very frizzy and doesn't hold up in humidity, but this one would totally do if you don't need a ton of hold. So this is the Twist by We Dad Weather Up Gel. This is the closest gel to the We Dad one I'm gonna show you that's at a more affordable price that I have found. It's very similar in ingredients. Again, it just has a little bit less hold. So this is designed to fight humidity. It's actually made for humid weather. It has multiple polyquats that are right at the top of the list, which is what we wanna see because ingredients are listed in the concentration order with the highest concentration being at the top of the list. And then there's some other ingredients that are holding ingredients like PVP, more polyquats. I see one oil, argan kernel oil, and then it also has proteins in it as well. I find this to be very lightweight. So if your hair gets weighed down very easily, but you still want a moisturizing gel, this is a good option. I do find it to be pretty moisturizing. Another medium hold option that's very affordable is the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. This is their scrunching jelly. I actually featured this in a video recently and I paired it with a mousse that I'm gonna share with you in a moment, but this contains humidity blocking ingredients. I also like the consistency of it. It's not too thick, even though it is a clear gel. A lot of cheaper gels are just very thick and sticky. So a lot of the gels you're gonna see here don't have that texture because I like a thinner gel. It's just easier to work with and your hair doesn't feel gross after refreshing. But this one's definitely a good one. It is more of a medium hold, so you might get a little bit of frizz and humidity, but if you don't need a strong hold, it is a good option. It also contains hydronated castor oil, which is also gonna help in humidity. It's a little bit lower on the list though. I find it to be overall like a medium weight gel, maybe a little bit more lightweight. Definitely not a heavy gel by any means. In terms of cream to pair with this, I still need to try the curl jelly cream. I wanna try that next, but I actually actually paired it with the mousse underneath of this in one of my recent videos. This one's probably the most lightweight out of all the gels that I'm sharing, and it has the lowest amount of moisture. So if your hair gets weighed down easily and you really want strong hold without a ton of moisturizing ingredients, the Jessie Curl one is definitely one to try. This is a Spiralicious Styling Gel, and it also comes in fragrance-free, which is nice. I got the one without fragrance. It says provides all day hold with frizz control. I definitely think that that is true. It has very simple ingredients. It has polyquaternium at 69, which is one of the best in humidity as the second ingredient. 
Then it has jojoba seed oil, which is a sealing oil. So that's going to be great in humidity. And then it has like one humectant, panthenol, another polyquat ingredient, and that's pretty much it. So very simple ingredients with this, very lightweight, and it does give pretty strong hold. And I also like the consistency of this. It's not thick or anything like that. Now for one of my all-time favorite gels, this is the AG Liquid Effects Extra Firm Styling Lotion. A lot of you get confused because you see the word lotion, but this is a gel, not a curl cream. It's a thin, clear, liquidy consistency, which is my favorite type of consistency. This contains multiple different polyquat ingredients right at the top. It also has PVP and it does contain glycerin, but it's not going to cause frizz in your hair if you also see polyquats and other holding ingredients in the ingredients. Glycerin causes a problem when it's not a good formulated gel that doesn't have enough hold, which honestly is most gels. Like it's difficult to find gels that actually contain multiple polyquats. So a lot of the times when people have issues with glycerin, that product just doesn't have enough hold for them. And it's also not combined with polyquatch, which counteract those effects. You need the glycerin in there or at least other humectants to help provide moisture. Like I mentioned with this Jessie Curl gel, this one is glycerin free, but I find it to be actually drying on my hair because my hair is very dry naturally. So I have to use a curl cream underneath of this that does contain glycerin. So that's kind of the trade-off. If you want glycerin free, it might be a little bit drying because glycerin is very moisturizing. And that humidity blocking ingredient polyquat is going to help coat the hair to prevent glycerin from causing frizz. But anyways, it contains other great ingredients in it. It also has a dimethicone. It's PEG12 dimethicone, which is a water soluble silicone that can be washed off with just water or your mild shampoo so it's not going to cause buildup. It also contains proteins in it, which is great for damaged hair and also with fighting humidity as well. I love pairing this with Recoil Fresh Definer. I've also used it with the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm and I really liked my result. I've tried it with different foams. I've used it with their mousse gel and it works great with that. So many options to pair with this one. Another one of my all time favorite gels. You guys know I had to mention this. I know I feature in every single product video because it really does check all my boxes. This is the Weed Ed Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Stronger Hold Gel. Make sure it's the one in the red label because that is the stronger hold option. But this gel does contain multiple different polyquat ingredients. And this gel along with the AG Liquid Effects, both of them are like their own category because they have a unique feature where after you scrunch out the gel cast, your hair doesn't frizz up, but it still has hold. I know I've been talking about this so much in recent content, but it's kind of a realization that I had recently of like, that's truly stronghold to me. Like stronghold to me is not when you get a hard cast and you scrunch your hair and then it just frizzes up and like breaks apart. That's not really stronghold. This, the frizz stays intact, your curls stay intact, you can touch it and it's not gonna completely break up. And if it does, you can reactivate it with just water. You can add a little bit of water to refresh and that cast and that hold is going to come back. And it's not like that hard crunchy cast that you can't scrunch out. Like you can get softer curls. Some people notice that it's too softening. Like this might be too moisturizing and too softening if you do have very fine hair. And in that case, I would go with one of the other more lightweight options like this or maybe even the liquid effects. This one's a little bit less moisturizing, just a hair. This one contains some shea butter esters and some other really moisturizing film forming ingredients, which can give a very softening effect on the hair. So if you don't want a softening effect, maybe add in some texture and grit from like a texturizing product or use one of the other ones that I mentioned. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. It could be a little heavy for those of you that don't need a lot of moisture, but because it's moisturizing, you can use it by itself, which is great. And it works phenomenal by itself. You don't even need a curl cream, but if I did pair a curl cream underneath of this, gosh, I've tried so many with it. I've tried both of the AG curl creams underneath both recoil and fresh definer. I've also tried the Design Me Bounce Me underneath of it, and I've tried the Twist Weather Up Lotion, so that's a good drugstore option. So if you only invest in one product, if you really are on a budget and you want drugstore products, and you can invest in one, I would make it be your gel because that's where we really need our products to perform. Like that's worth it to me to spend more money if I was on a strict budget with products. I would invest in just one good gel for humidity that's gonna actually last and save me time and headache in my routine. And then the rest of your products could be drugstore because creams, like they're very similar. Shampoos and conditioners, they all do very similar things, but it's the gel that's so difficult to find a good formulated one from the drugstore. By the way, if you have drugstore gel options, 
please leave them down below if you find some that have multiple polyquats because I'm still on the hunt for more drugstore options. Speaking of drugstore gels, this is like the one that actually does pretty good in humidity. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk hard hold gel. Make sure it's the hard hold one. I do not like the original. It does nothing for my hair and just leaves it kind of gunky feeling. But the hard hold one, it gives level five maximum hold. This actually does contain humidity blocking ingredients in it as the second ingredient. It has PVP and then it has acrylates, which I'm not a huge fan of. That's the ingredient that makes it kind of like thick and sticky. It does good at holding the hair, but it is a thick kind of texturizing gel. So if you don't mind that, if you're someone that needs some of that grit and texture in your hair, like if your hair is overly soft, like what I mentioned can happen with the Weed Ed gel, then go with this one. For me, it just is too texturizing. I have coarse areas in my hair, so I don't always love that feeling in the hair, but I get great results and I get a ton of volume with it because of that texture. But sometimes that can be difficult when you go to refresh, especially after getting like a lot of frizz and humidity and stuff that can be kind of like gunky and hard to refresh. That's the only downside with this, but it does work really well. And since there's not a lot of drugstore options for humidity, that's why I did want to mention it. I do like the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream underneath. I consider it to be probably like low moisture. It could use more moisture, which is another issue with gels like this is they can be drying on the hair, but just pair this cream underneath and it should provide enough moisture. So now for the mousse category, I narrowed it down to two, but there's lots of other mousses that I like. I still need to do the mousse video that I've been talking about, like comparing them, but this is a newer one to me. I actually featured this in my recent video with Umberto Giannini and fell in love with it. This is the Curl Whip Curl Activating Mousse. So the reason I wanted to feature this one is because this one actually contains those humidity blocking polyquats. Wonder if you can count how many times I've said polyquats in this video. I know it's been a lot, but that's the main ingredient you want to look for when it comes to humidity. This also contains a water soluble silicone, which is another great ingredient when it comes to humidity that won't cause buildup on the hair. It gives me about a medium hold, so you might still need to add a gel if you do want stronger hold out of this. And that's why I did use this underneath the Curl Jelly Scrunching Jelly. It did work great underneath that. Also, just keep in mind that you want to use the strongest hold product at the end of your routine. So if you're gonna mix and match any of these products or any of your gels together, like use more than one gel, always go with the lightest hold one and then the strongest one on top. So it would go light hold, then strong hold. That way you get that strongest hold on the outer shell of your hair. This is also pretty moisturizing, which I feel like is rare to find in a mousse. So if you do want something moisturizing, it's not texturizing or anything. It does help with volume, but it definitely gave me moisture. So I was able to sort of use this in place of a curl cream with the scrunching jelly on top for plenty of moisture, lots of definition and medium hold. For a stronger hold option, I like the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. I know I just featured this one in a recent video, but it is one of my favorite mousses from the drugstore. It says it's a level two hold, but I actually find that it gives me stronger hold than that, especially when I pair it with the Curl Talk Cream. It even says right on the bottle that it has humidity protection, love to see it. It also says lasting shine and definition, frizz-free curls. I do get some frizz if I use it by itself, and if I don't use enough, it's more of like a medium hold. But this is pretty simple on the ingredients as well. Not a ton of moisturizing ingredients in this. It's mainly just water, polyquinternium, and then the ingredients that turn it into an aerosol foam, and then it, pretty much that's it. I see propylene glycol, which is a humectant or a preservative that's lower on the list. So not a ton in this, but it does have the humidity protection and it's like a medium to strong hold. Next category are hairsprays. I also had quite a few hairsprays to feature, but I narrowed it down to just two because I wanted the focus to be on the gels. But this is a newer option that I wanted to feature. It's the Buclam Flexible Hold Hairspray. It's hard to find a spray water-based hairspray that does give flexible hold. I actually have this in my hair right now. I had to use it to tame some frizz after using this Hask products. I really like it though. So this one has BPVA copolymer in it, which is a holding ingredient. It also has aloe, which is a film forming humectant. So if your products are going to have humectants, film formers can actually be a little bit better at least than regular humectants if there's not other humidity blocking ingredients in there. And then it has BPVA copolymer, which is another holding ingredient and some other oils in it. So I don't find this to be drying. So if you find that most hairsprays are drying and make your hair feel brittle, maybe go with something like this. Or if you're someone with very fine hair that gets weighed down from everything and you don't like gel, maybe try just using a hairspray. I've seen people just use this 
and a curl cream and that's it. Like this is their main styling product. And in that case, you would use this on wet hair. I just misted it on dry hair, like at my roots and it worked just fine. And my hair, it just feels like it has hold. It doesn't feel like icky and gross or anything. It still feels pretty soft. So it definitely is more of a flexible hold. If you want an aerosol option that gives stronger hold, I would recommend the Curlsmith Flawless Finish Hairspray. I know I also just featured this one recently. This is the flexible hold version. They also have a strong hold version. So if you want even stronger hold, go with that one. But this is an aerosol based hairspray. So you would only want to use this on dry hair. It wouldn't really work on wet hair. So this is mainly a finishing hairspray. So something like this, you would kind of mist around the top of your head, maybe at your roots once you're done diffusing. Or you could even stop kind of in the middle of diffusing and miss some of it. It actually helps give a little bit of volume too. Like when I shake out my roots, when I have some of this, it does give a little bit of texture, but the flexible hold version, you can kind of like scrunch out to where your hair feels a little bit softer. You can still tell it has a hairspray in it, but it doesn't feel like gross or anything. Also, these types of hairsprays work great for hairstyles, like doing updos and high buns and that sort of thing. So if you have not already snagged the free checklist that I created, I will link it for you down below. You can just add it to the cart on my blog, but it's totally free. You still just have to go through that checkout process. But I basically list out some common ingredients and I list out the six different categories that you want to look for in your products. So that way, if you want to check the products that you already have, you don't always have to go out and buy new products. That's why I wanted to provide this list because you might have products already at home that you can use that kind of check some of these boxes. If you want to know just the main ingredient, I would look for those polyquads, but there's some other ones on that list that will help as well. And I also provide examples of the common or like the top ingredients within each category. Also, there are a lot more products that I recommend that I didn't even feature in here. And those are all listed on the shop page on my blog. And you can filter down the products based on these ingredients. So you can use the checklist to then look for those ingredients on the filters to find products that have those ingredients. So there's a filter there for contains polyquats. So that's the one that I applied when I was kind of sorting through my collection to pick products for this video. So the link for that and the checklist will be in the description box down below. Both of them are totally free to access. If you need more product recommendations, check out the recent video that I did all about some of my favorite anti-frizz products. Some of these are repeats from this video, but there's also a lot more there, specifically more drugstore gels that are more of a medium hold, but do really help in humidity and for frizz as well. So I will have that video linked right here on the screen. Hope you find it helpful and I will talk to you over there. Bye everyone.